Well, Minnesota photographers say that their access is being severely limited during postseason for high school dance. And this policy is affecting students and parents in all high school sports. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joins us now with one photographer's story who says no reason was given to her, Rose. Yeah, Alyssa Christine says she was assured repeatedly that her access would be the same as last year. Then last week she learned she would be restricted to one chair to film, among other limitations. This is sections footage that I wasn't allowed to get, followed right after they danced. Alyssa Christine is contracted to follow 12 high school dance teams. But last Friday, the day before sections, she says she was told by the Minnesota State High School League the amount of video she could take was being restricted, and she couldn't take any photos. I would be relegated to video only in a designated performance chair on the floor. I could not shoot anything from the bleachers. I could shoot performances only, only up to three minutes, and then the camera had to be turned off, and I had to exit and sit in the general admission area. Side, around, side, up. A former dancer herself, Alyssa has been doing this for a decade, spending hours with the students and even learning their routines so she can film them better. I'm not doing this for me and it's not about my livelihood. It's about the fact that some of these kids danced for the last time and they don't have anything to show for it. It was honestly like shocking and disappointing just because she'd been with us through this whole season. For these Chanhassen seniors, Saturday was the last dance of their high school career. To not have any of that footage, none of the hugs, none of the talks before and after, like those are the moments that I look back on and are some of my favorite moments. Alyssa also filmed Hopkins dance team. That day they made state for the first time in 11 years. We've worked so hard since October to put these routines together and as captains, you know, leading our team, we just really want all those moments to be captured and we can look back on in 10, 15 years and show our kids. The dancers tell us their parents did the best they could to take photos and video from the stands, but it's not just the sentimental moments they're missing. Alyssa is able to capture moments that we also like to watch back in order to make sure that we all look alike and we're all in sync and that we're all doing what we can in order to be a more competitive team. We asked the Minnesota State High School League multiple times throughout the day today what the intent was of this policy and the specific date it was adopted. They have not answered those questions. They did send us guidance explaining that every dance program has the opportunity to select a photographer who can video their routine and awards, but they must follow all policies and guidelines. Additionally, the state tournament will be streamed and all teams can request a copy and the league says it employs its own photographers and photos are available for the public to purchase. So just kind of a lot to unpack here with There's this. There's the rub, huh? A lot to remember, yes.